What up, YouTube? How y'all doing? Um, I'm back. Uh, I think I think I'm gonna make this a series, like mini tutorials or whatever. Hopefully, I can like talk about stuff that's not too common, or or whatever. Like articulation, that's super common. That was the last one I did, but at the same time, the approach is probably different. Like everybody has a lot, like a lot of different approaches to articulation. So I think that was worth. Oh, hopefully it was worth watching. I hope this one is worth watching. Um, but anyway, I want to talk today. I want to talk about growling. Uh, saxophone player. When you go to a gig, and someone's like, "Hi, how are you? What's your name?" Growling them. You know what I'm talking about? They they will remember you, and then you will get called for gigs. Tight now. Don't growl at people. I mean, they will remember you. They're gonna be like, "That's that person that growled on me." But I don't know if you're gonna get a gig. You better be killing. If you're going to growl at people. But no, nah, I'm talking about, you know, humming and playing at the same time. The whole. Whatever. Right. Um, so why is it important? I think it's important because having the ability to growl is, is going to add something to your sound. And in a way that, that might not be super. I don't know, talked about. I think but I think growling like growling is a good step in in getting your overtones and getting your voice into your sound. Um and I say it because uh sometimes sometimes like when I'm playing, sometimes it like I'll growl on accident. It's not really an accident, but it just it just happens that way. Like if I play I don't know. Sometimes it comes out on that C sharp, yeah, like that. And it's not like I'm trying to growl, but it's just like it happens because I found that I'm on like the verge, of like almost growling all the time anyway. Because that's like my throat is open and I'm on and like so I'm like almost humming what I'm not because I'm trying to sing what I'm playing, right? So one, it's important to sing what you're playing anyway. But I'll say, I'll say like all the mouthpiece, like you know, get matching pitches. You know, all that kind of stuff is like, good, great, do it. But people talk about that, all like practicing on the neck or like doing like the, the front F trick and like try to scoop down and scoop back up or whatever. That's important and do that. And if I was giving lessons to somebody, like I talk on, like I talk about that. I mean, I need to work on that too, but I'm just saying this, this way, like open up your sound. It's just another way. Right. So, so for an, for an example, if I'm like not thinking, if I'm not playing normally and I'm trying to like play how I used to play a little bit uh if i can remember and it's not like it's not like it's bad it's just like i play differently um uh it's like so try to like not almost growl i guess so if i'm okay i mean and then okay let's try it with growling play Stella like that I mean you can play Stella like that I'm not gonna play Stella like that but anyway so try to find the difference right this is not growling so what's the bit what's the difference so it was ringing a lot more so now because it's like I, I just barely stopped humming right so now It's like more overtone, so you're gonna sound more like you because like more of your voice is is coming through the saxophone, and a lot of things with like extended technique is just being able to do it is gonna add something to your playing, right? Playing high notes, right? That's gonna add something to your playing. So uh, things like slap tongue, right? I mean, it's gonna add something to your playing. Growling, same thing, but I think growling can like it actually shows that you can shows the boundary between like opening your throat and like singing notes. Cause when you, when you play stuff, you're supposed to really be singing through your horn, right? You're the instrument. Well, okay. This is the instrument, but at the same time, you're really the instrument cause you're the one, you know, singing and playing whatever. Um, so no, I think that's important. 
Um, I mean, and again, like I said, like I'll I'll play I'll play stuff and it'll naturally growl. Like if I'm just right and definitely like c sharps higher notes it's higher notes it might come out more than the lower notes because there's like there's more uh, less resistance up there um but i don't know i think i think it's just interesting to think about uh at least but like being able to growl like how do you growl or well, hum and play at the same time um and, and literally like i don't know how to like that's how i learned like i just said oh and then it was like oh it growls um, so it's just like sit there and figure it like figure out how to growl and then figure out how to mesh that to your normal sound without it sounding too growly, right? Growlith, the Pokemon. He will probably growl if you play saxophone. Anyway, thank y'all so much. Uh like, comment, subscribe, uh, put it on put this channel on eBay, put it on Facebook, put it on Instagram, put it on Amazon, whatever. Hot but nah. Thank y'all and see y'all in the next video.